Neeraj Shah, the owner of Aryan Sadayat, is a technocrat mostly known for his work in industrial automation and humanized robotics. With more than two decades of experience in automation field, engineer Neeraj was involved in manufacturing process instruments, more than 370 products, portable control panels, and embedded software development. He is mentor and motivator to various technical and management institutes. He has provided technical consulting to many MNCs across IT, QA, and IoT domains for over a decade. Today, we are honored to have Mr. Neeraj as a guest speaker, and he will talk about Industry 4, Nine Pillars. So, without further ado, let's welcome Mr. Neeraj. Uh, thank you, Dasnadi, uh, for a warm welcome and nice introduction uh, beyond my expectations. Uh, I also uh, welcome all my uh, co speakers and panelists. So, I am also not wasting time and coming to the point. And let us start with the Industry 4.0. So, so today's our topic is enhancing the productivity, quality, and efficiency with the smart automation. And uh, OEM, I am really thankful to OEM uh, updates for uh, inviting me over here for such a nice topic. And uh, we will have a good panelist on board. So, we will discuss through their things uh, that could be helpful to everyone yeah so not uh, going further in the details but uh, i am taking that industry 4.0 the, the industry 4.0 has a nine pillars so i would like to discuss that nine pillars one by one so can you believe that there is a, anything that could be constant in the world so change is the only constant and we know we started with uh, hunting uh, and then agriculture, then industry. Now we are in the information and from information era to the knowledge era. And we are going towards the wisdom era. So this is the, our journey where we can see that the change is the only constant and we can uh, look at that part. So I would like to revise you all people. Uh, we had started with industry 1.0 where mechanical and uh, team and hydraulic energy will be converted into the mechanical energy and that has taken revolution and steam boards and everything comes out. Uh, later on electricity came and industry 2.0 came on and industry 2.0 has uh, revolved many things in the mass production and everything and then later on computer size came uh, people started fearing that our jobs are gone and everything is gone but not and, and the, now computer is our part and parcel of our life and automation has been started uh, in 20th century through industry 3.0 and now we are uh, coming to the industry 4.0 where machine to machine they are talking each to each other not human to machine because human to machine is in the industry 3.0 there where computer is talking to us and we are computer talking to computers but now machines to machine uh, are conversing each other and they will do lot many works be up of us and they motivate us to do more creative works so let us start with the industry 4.0 what is industry 4.0 so do you really believe that industry 4.0 uh, will make change so let us uh, talk about the nine pillars of the industry 4.0 so there are nine pillars i would like to uh, say that uh, from my speech you are able to remember all nine names of nine pillars and whenever you are uh, counting that part in the sequence and when you are designing such a system where the things could be happen with nine all pillars so your system or your product activity or your efficiency could be improved once and all only when you are utilizing all the nine pillars of the industry 4.0 the first pillar is AR VR do you know the full form of AR and VR? augmented reality and virtual reality Virtual reality, we might be know. We will playing games or we are looking at the animated movies in the films and everything could be virtual reality. But have you remember that lens card air where the glasses are changing on the click of our end movements? That is called augmented reality. So then physical world collides with the uh, real world and the computer generated system works on that part that is called AR. So that is augmented reality. And we can travel anywhere in the heartbeat time. And that can be possible. Okay, I can, through Google Glass, I can travel to the Paris 
uh, in the fraction of second and I can feel I'm standing on the Paris Tower and I am having dates with someone and, and I am enjoying my coffee on Paris Tower, yeah? So that is could be happen in within a fraction of second. And apart from that, you can design your product, visualize your product, showcase your products, demonstrate, customize and without any prototype. So you can do everything. And that is the imaginary part. And that could be feels. You can feel it. You can see it. You can uh, act on it. And you can do. That is only possible with the AR and VR. So that is the first and almost uh, the base pillar of Industry 4.0. Where we can design beyond our imagination. Whatever we can think, we can make it true. That is the possibility is given by the AR and VR. So this is the power of AR and VR. Now second pillar, uh, that is additive manufacturing. Additive manufacturing means 3D printer. We heard the name of 3D printer very well. So we can print anything on 3D printer nowadays. From plastic, from metal. Nowadays concrete could be and building could be printed on 3D printers. So that could be why. But what is the additive printing? Why additive manufacturing or additive printing? Till date we are cutting out something. We are wasting something when we are manufacturing something. But now we are jointing something with zero waste and that is called additive manufacturing. So thousand of years we are removing excess material and making final shapes. But now we transform manufacturing. We start with nothing on the base and bottom up layer we can build anything on 3D printers. So now strength is traditionally we join some pieces and we make something. But now the, the joints are not there. There are designs efficiency has increased. Less joints. So the productivity and the strength is different now. So we can dream it. That could be printed. We can say like that. So that is the second pillar. Now we coming to the third pillar. That is Internet of Things. Internet of Things. Can you believe that uh, Internet of Things could be placed inside the human body? So 2mm by 2mm chips could be inserted in the human body like me on my hand. I had inserted and you can track me from anywhere uh, through satellite uh, with the ISRO help anywhere in the world. So that could be only possible due to the internet of things. So each and every things including human beings could be a part of internet through only a single chip. Yeah. So IoT there is omnipresence in the they are connected with the computer. They are so we can say that everything is on internet. So we can access anything, anytime, any from any place. So that is so that could be connected manufacturer, connected transportation, agriculture, infrastructure, retails, business, hospitality, healthcare, logistics, insurance, gear, ma gears, mining, everything. And that could be make I can track anything and everything from my like, single click on another computer. And I can optimize my analytic process. I can optimize my uh, delivery. I can optimize my production time. And everything could be possible with the Internet of Things. Now, fourth pillar is the big data. So, what is the role of big data? We are thinking of that part. Okay? Industry 4.0. But every day we are putting in so many data on the cloud. And that data could be the use uh, availability of data. And that data could be converted into intelligence. And that is converted through the AI, ML, and VL. And that becomes a cloud computing. So let us see. Data could be data could be converted into the information. Information could be converted into the knowledge. And in knowledge could be converted into the wisdom. So big data has a power. When we have a data, we can ask the questions. And that our questions can be converted into the why, who, whom, where and that data could be converted into information and that is called AI. Then AI could be the information could be again asked questions in the context and that could be converted into the machine learning and machine learning could uh, convert information into the knowledge and then knowledge could be converted into wisdom through the deep learning. So there are three parts between the big data and cloud computing that is called AI, ML and DL. So even though cloud computing has a three parts, AI, ML, and DL, but without big data, that could be not possible. So big data and cloud computing are interconnected through AI, machine learning, and deep learning. So this is the a computation, and this is the big pillar and huge pillar of Industry 4.0.
where we can look forward to the many future years and past years. From past data, we can convert to the future prediction. And that is helpful to build our efficiency, our productivity, and enhance our manufacturing things. Yeah. So, uh, coming to the sixth pillar, advanced simulation. Before many years, we cannot able to predict that. Okay, I can build a 100 story building in my nearest area, but now we can simulate that thing and we can do it. Before years, we have ambassadors like car like ambassadors, they are too heavy, they have too preventive and more manage things. But with the advanced simulation, we can now produce a, even lighter cars, fast moving cars, optimized car, and we can simulate that in the accident or in the, any uh, human injury that could be prevent us. So the advanced simulation has converted a lot of things in the manufacturing transformations and that makes optimum uh, productivity from the advanced simulation could be possible. So we can forecast, force control, we can drive innovations and we can make best decision with the help of advanced simulation. Then the seventh pillar is autonomous robots. So robot has a three parts, bot, cobot and robots. So bot is the software part. So we know that when we book the flight and uh, the pop-up comes, may I help you sir on what I can help you with? So that is the bot and that is the only software part and that is based on the AI and that could be work as a as a robot for interaction to the us. But cobot where the human and robot both works together and that is the optimal state where we are the industry 4.0 is working on that part because bot is already accepted cobot is now uh, much more uh, with the corona we are accepted also cobots and but we are moving towards the robots that is the autonomous robots they have their own intelligence they have ai ml and dl all things together inside them they think independently they act independently they react independently so we have to differentiate that bot cobot and robot Many times we ask, uh, we can say that bot is robot, but really bot, cobot and robot are different. So we have to look at that part. Now coming to the eight pillar, we have many technologies like wireless technology, Wi-Fi, Li-Fi, ZigBee, ZWAO, Bluetooth, RFID, NFC, and they communicate with each other. They can talk to each other and they can bring us to the new technology because when one Wi-Fi card could be accessed through internet with the NFC. So RFID and internet talking to each other with each other. And that in, then and then our payment is possible to convert it to the, some petrol pump or some uh, uh, where we are paying the things. So technology has to talk to each other and that is the main integrated part. So even though universal integration is not, uh, we can see directly, but that has a many much more ma a role in the technology and with this universal integration only mass technology could be possible and that could be converted to the production so in production line one machine talk to each other that i am not well so you might be delayed so you can take another job and that could be all possible only through the universal integration yeah and coming to the ninth pillar that is called cyber security so everything in industry 4.0 is working on the internet or cloud or on the uh, periphery of devices that is coming so without cyber security nothing would be possible so cyber security and universal integration both are the hidden pillars of the industry 4.0 but without them we cannot design anything we cannot mature anything and have you heard the name of blockchain blockchain in yeah i know first i take blockchain name and you heard about the bitcoins yeah so but uh, not Bitcoin is the only blockchain technology, but bo blockchain technology could do many more things in the industry 4.0 revolutions. Yeah. And that is a secure and self-reliable system through the blockchain. So I would like to revise these names once again. So first pillar is ARVR or mixed reality. Then second pillar is additive printing, 3D printing. Third is the internet of things, IoT. Fourth is big data. Fifth is cloud computing, but between big data and cloud computing, we have AI, ML, and DL. So artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning. Then sixth pillar is the advanced simulation. Seventh is autonomous robots. Eight is universal integration. And ninth is cybersecurity. So are we prepared for that? So we have to experiment on our parts. And then and then only we can say that 
we have done something in the industry 4.0 thank you very much thank you mr neeraj for sharing your views about the industry 4.0 nine pillar we request our delegates and viewers to stay connected with us on our social media handles oem update is available on facebook twitter and instagram you can also download our app from google play and app store with this we want to announce the closing of today's session request you to stay tuned with us for more such sessions thank you and goodbye Thank you.